Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly read. Um, and this will be for the sign of, oh that one wants to come out, Gemini. Gemini, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I've cleared my table, I have so much more room now. <laughs> um, if the readings don't resonate with you, you know the drill, move on, find someone else, look for another aspect of your natal chart. Um, if it doesn't fit, don't make it fit. So it, you know when it fits, you get it in the in your gut, in your intuition. Um, and if it doesn't feel right to you, then it means it's not yours. I guess if you don't have a good intuition or you're not very intuitive, it may not make sense. So um, if it doesn't make sense, it's not yours. Okay, let's have a look. I'm using the Everyday Witches Tarot for your reading. And I have the Ace of Pentacles coming up. Very nice, Gemini. So the Ace of Pentacles talks about a brand new start, but one that is solid, one that is real, one that can be based in money. So it can be getting a new job, um, going into a more permanent relationship, but whatever this could move to house into somewhere where you um, have wanted to live, that type of thing. Um, behind that, we do have the Page of Cups. So that does imply that somebody's made you an offer here, something that you really love, something that you're going to really enjoy. Page of Cups, he comes with love in hand there. Um, you are thinking about this, though, because we do have the Hermit here. So this is time to do, you're taking time out for some reason to have a look at this offer to see what it really looks like. And you're trying to find balance in that. I'm going to go one more card. Yeah, you are trying to work out what's going on here. This magician means that you are you know, trying to see things, do you know, is everything right, is it all the way you want it to be, you know, is this real, is it true, um, trying to find out whether it fits with what you want for your life, um, but definitely taking time out to put consideration in, but the offer is really good, I can tell you that now, the offer is beautiful, if you don't want the offer, don't take it, <laughs> Here's the uh, Four of Cups. So this is about looking at this offer. This is why you're having trouble making a decision. So you've got three cups already, and they're all different shapes and sizes. So you may be in an, you know, three relationships, three love affairs, whatever it is for you, um, and whether that number is even significant. But you've already had a lot of this, and you're not really sure that the offer that's being made by this little page of cups here is now the right one for you. Does it fit? Is it what you want? So that's where you're going with that. If in doubt, take time out. How's that? <laughs> so you're about to close out a cycle, um, which means that you really, really are getting to a time in your life where you do need to have some alone time because maybe this person doesn't fit your lifestyle anymore. Um, you know, maybe you've had a great, great fun with them, but you don't see them as long term potential. But you're definitely doing something here to take time out to think about it. Look, the Ace of Cups is here too. So this is a very solid love that you have for this person. Um, you do want a new start with them. You do want to take this cup. So I'm not sure here what is stopping you from taking that, whether it's your own fear and insecurity. Maybe this person was a bit of a player in the past. Maybe you, um, you don't trust what they're bringing forth here. Maybe they're a little fast and heavy. Maybe they're pushy for this relationship. If they're pushing you for marriage and you don't want it, you need to take time out. You never get pushed to doing something you don't want to do. Don't ever, ever make a decision because the other person is hasty. It's about you here. You need to make your mind up if it's what you want. I can see you've been hurt before. So you're probably still hanging on to a little bit of past heartbreak. It could have been this person that's hurt you before here as well. Um, but there's definitely pain here, which has to be taken into consideration. And I can see you doing that. But this is the world. This is the end of that cycle. I said back here and back there. You are closing something out here. So it could be that you're closing up being single and moving into a relationship. It could be that you're closing up some sort of fear here about moving forward. Let's even get more advice for you here. Six of Swords. So that suggests that you're moving away from the offer. Eight of Cups. You're certainly moving away from what emotionally doesn't fulfill you. You could be moving away from a King of Cups and moving quite quickly. I think that this offer, I think you genuinely love this person. 
I think you have a great deal of love for this person, but there's just this lack of lack of trust. I think that they truly love you. I think the offer is genuine. I think it's coming from the right place. But I really feel like, especially with this magician here, um, and you come up as the Queen of Cups under there. So I really feel like you know this is your person. You really love them. You really want to be with them. But there's this feeling here you're needing to walk away for a moment just to make sure that it's what you want. So you could have been with this person for quite a long time in a relationship. You could have met this person in the last few months. It could be somebody returning. Any of those situations would fit this reading. Um, this person is genuinely offering you something. It looks here to me like they really are well balanced emotionally and ready to offer you love. But I feel this is more you because you're ready to finish out a cycle here because you're going through a time in your life where you're looking long term. You're not, you know, looking at it as just a short term fix. You want to know that this person's going to be around forever. And I'm not sure that you really feel that they are. So for me, this is about taking the time out, you know, really having the energy and the space to sit in your own space for a while and see whether this is actually your situation or not. It seems a little um, it seems a little sad when you love them, but I do get you know that perhaps they haven't done the right things in the past. Maybe they haven't always been true to their word. Maybe they've been inconsistent with this Knight of Wands here, especially where they've been a little hot and cold, maybe running in and out. Um, I do have two cards coming out here, so I do want to read both of them for you because I think this is important. Um, the mystical shaman is the first one. So it says, when the mystical shaman appears, you are invited to consider the ability to live without attachment. You are being called to create and dream your life to act on an inspiration and divine impulse without fixating on a known story of success or achievement. Can you impartially observe the stories you tell yourself and others? What if you could become a mystery to yourself? Who would you become if you stopped telling the tales that have defined you up until now? You do not have to live in a story that has roots in the past, where there was no need to explain to yourself, not even anyone. The way to your most extraordinary life or extraordinary life is to become a blank slate and allow the form of your dreams and desires to show up as it will. This is a sign of manifesting a life beyond your wildest dreams. <clears throat> Sorry, croaky voice, frog in the throat. Um, and the beloved... I think this card is absolutely beautiful and it says accept the invitation to learn through the path of love expand your being through union with another when you recognize the beloved in another you will call forth their highest and purest nature follow the path of love so hopefully you can get a little bit of extra extra information out of those oracle cards i really believe they're saying you know what can you if you don't trust what's happening here then you know maybe you won't learn what you need to learn have a great week.